Thank you for joining the 7th grade for Stations of the Cross. Please join us with our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Jesus, we believe that you carried your cross to Calvary and died there for our sins. As we begin this way of the cross with you today, we want to understand what happened on that Good Friday so long ago. Show us how much you loved us. Please be with us in every step of our own journey through life. Station 1. Pontius Pilate condemns Jesus to die on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Pontius Pilate. My name is Pontius Pilate. I am the man that the Roman Emperor sent to rule over the Jews in Palestine. They were a hard people to please. Once, when I tried to put pictures of the emperor in the temple at Jerusalem, the people got very angry. Then the leaders of the people brought this man, Jesus, to me. They asked me to kill him on a cross. They even said that he claimed to be the Son of God. I was afraid. I would not dare try to kill God. I was even more afraid that the Jewish leaders would report to the emperor that I was a traitor. They said to me, if this man goes free, Pilate, you are no friend of Caesar. Well, I let them have their way with Jesus. What would, have, what would you have done in my place? Jesus, without your help, we are like Pilate. We are afraid, and sometimes we do things we should not do. Remind us that when we hurt those who are innocent, we hurt you too. Give us, give us enough strength to say no. When someone wants us to do things we should not do. Amen. On the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My name is Barabbas. I was in jail with Jesus because I tried to kill some Roman soldiers, but Pilate let me go free. It was a big holiday in Jerusalem, and the Romans used to let one prisoner go free. Some people wanted Pilate to let Jesus go, but the leaders who hated Jesus got their friends to ask for my freedom. I saw Jesus take up his cross without saying anything. I hated my enemies, but Jesus seemed to love those who were mean to him. What would you have done? Jesus, you told us forget to forgive our enemies and do good to those who hurt us. That's very hard for me to do. I want to hit and hurt and say mean things to anyone I do not like. But I will try to be like you and show kindness instead. Thank you for showing me the way of love. Station 3. Jesus falls down the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross we have redeemed the world. This is King Herod of Galilee. I am King Herod. From my palace window, I saw Jesus stumble and fall under the cross. He said once that anyone who wants to be his follower has to take up the cross and follow him. What a strange man he was. Who would ever want to suffer? I like to have fun. I would have saved Jesus if he had worked some tricks, some miracles for me. But he would not even speak to me. I had killed his cousin John the Baptist. Jesus should have been afraid of me, but he just stood there and looked at me. Jesus, Herod called you a fool, but I believe in you. Sometimes I find life hard because I want everything to be easy. Help me to learn that by carrying my own little cross, the hard things of my life. I become more like you. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets Mary, his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Mary, the mother of Jesus. Jesus was my little boy. I held him in my arms in a stable at Bethlehem. I watched him grow up. When he was twelve, Joseph and I lost him for many hours. Finally, we found him in the temple. He told us that he had to be about his father's business. Is this cross his father's business? I felt so sad to see him suffer and bleed, but I believe he knows what he must do for the world. I looked into his eyes and saw only love, love for me and love for you. Isn't my son wonderful? 
Jesus, our own mothers love us very much. We know how sad your mother was to see you suffer. Help us always to be loving and kind to our parents, our grandparents, and our teachers. Let us see in them your messengers for us on earth. Amen. Station 5. Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Simon of Cyrene. My name is Simon. I am a farmer from the town of Cyrene. On that Friday morning, I had to come up to Jerusalem from the fields where I worked. I saw a big crowd of people, so I went to see what was happening. All of a sudden, a Roman soldier grabbed me and made me carry the cross for a man condemned to die. I was very angry. I had not done anything wrong, but then I saw the man's face. His name was Jesus. He smiled as if to thank me. All of a sudden, the cross seemed lighter. All of a sudden, I was glad to help this poor man carry his cross. After that, I found it easier to help other people who were in trouble. Jesus, sometimes I feel lazy. Sometimes I do not like to help other people. But you told us that you want your followers to serve others. Give me a generous and loving heart so that I can do good for everyone. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Veronica of Jerusalem. I am Veronica. My home is on the street that leads to the place where the Romans crucified the prisoners. I was in my doorway watching Jesus go by. I remember hearing him say, As long as you give a cup of cool water to the least of your brothers or sisters, you give it to me. I wanted to help him, so I pulled the veil from my head and I bent down to wipe the blood and sweat from his face. The soldiers almost hit me, but I did not care. Jesus looked at me with the love, and that is all the thanks I needed. Jesus, sometimes I do not even notice when people need my help. Give me eyes that are always open to see how others need me. Give me hands that are always ready to reach out to help those who suffer. Amen. Amen. The Seventh Station. Jesus falls the second time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Caiaphas the high priest. My name is Caiaphas, chief priest of the temple in Jerusalem. People came to me and said, that fellow Jesus is dangerous. He claims to be God. He says he can forgive sins. Who did he think he was? He was just a carpenter from Nazareth. I had to protect my country from the Romans. It was better to get Jesus out of the way than to make the Romans angry with us. So I had him arrested. I saw Jesus fall onto the cross and I laughed to myself. He wouldn't be around much longer, would he? Jesus, you loved your country and your people, but some of their leaders did not understand that you were the person God promised to send as their savior. Some of them hated you and planned your death. I want to love my own country. Please make our leaders good and just at all times to all people. The Eighth Station. Jesus meets some women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is a woman from Jerusalem. My friends and I had heard Jesus speak a few times. Sometimes we would bake bread and give it to him and his apostles for a snack. Then we saw him bleeding and wearing a crown of thorns. It was just too much. We started to cry, but he stopped and said, Don't cry for me, rather cry for yourselves and your children. What could that mean? I didn't understand a lot of what he said, but I truly believed he was God's chosen one. Do you believe that too? Jesus, many children like ourselves have had to suffer and die in terrible wars. Many children do not have a home to live in, nor enough food to eat. We know that you love children. Help all the mothers and fathers and all the children around the world. Amen. Station 9. Jesus falls the third time under the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Longinus, the Roman soldier. I'm the Roman soldier who made a crown of thorns and put it on Jesus' head. I'm the one who forced him to get up every time he fell under his cross. But I saw how he forgave the people who hit him and made fun of him. When Jesus was on the cross, I asked him to forgive me for being unkind to him. I believe he truly was the Son of God. I hope you believe that too. Jesus, sometimes I fall too. When I sin and do things that go against your love for me, you got up from under your cross, always pulled me up. 
Jesus, when I fall into sin, please forgive me, just as you did the Roman soldier. Station 10. Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is the thief who is not sorry. I am one of the criminals who was crucified with Jesus. I hated the Romans for arresting me and condemning me to die. This Jesus who was on the other cross, they stripped off his clothes and made fun of him. But he didn't even answer back. I don't understand that. To me, he was a wimp. If he was so great, why didn't he free himself and me? All I wanted was to be free, but he did not do it for me. That made me furious. Wouldn't you be angry too? Jesus, it must have hurt a lot to be pushed around by the soldiers and made fun of, even by the other criminals. But you showed us how to love and how to forgive. Teach me to be patient with my own hurts and troubles. Eleventh Station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Dismas, the thief who was sorry. My name is Dismas. I used to rob people's homes until they caught me and condemned me to die next to the carpenter from Nazareth. I watched from my own cross as the soldiers nailed Jesus to his. I was surprised to hear him say, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Then I knew he had to be a great man. Then I knew he could help me too. I looked over and asked him to remember me when he came into his kingdom. He smiled through his blood and sweat and said, Today you will be with me in paradise. I became a believer. Did you become a believer too? Jesus, you promised the thief who was crucified with you that he would be with you in heaven. That is where I want to go when I die too. Help me to forgive those who hurt me. Please forgive me when I hurt others. Make me always ready to be happy with you in heaven. Amen. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Mary Magdalene. They call me Mary Magdalene. Mine was a difficult and bitter life before I met Jesus. But Jesus looked at me and at so many others with kindness and compassion. He cured our sickness and gave us reasons to be happy. He freed me of the evil spirits that had their hold on my life. How then could I stand by and see Jesus hurting? and unable to help himself. I so much wanted to help him, but all that I could do is stand next to his cross to the very end. I was there when he asked for something to drink. I was there when he cried out, it is finished. Then he died. My Jesus stopped breathing. I was there to see the death of Jesus. Were you there too? Jesus, we could not be there on Calvary Hill when you died, we believe that whenever we go to Mass, you are there in the bread and wine. It's the next best thing to being under the cross. Help us always to know the wonderful story of your holy cross. His body is removed from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by the holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. This is yeah. Salome. The mother of two apostles. I am Salome, the mother of the apostles, James and John. My son James ran away when the soldiers came after Jesus, but John and I did not run away. We stayed near the cross with Mary, Jesus' his mother. I did not understand why Jesus had to suffer. It was only later on that I saw the light, but on that Friday evening, I knew I had to. I had to be there to help them take his body off the cross. I had to be there to comfort his poor mother, who had lost her son, only son. Most of Jesus' friends ran away, but Jesus forgave them. Would you have run away? Jesus, I do not know if Clyde would have been brave enough to stay with you until the every, every, very end. All I know is that from now on, I want to be with you every day of my life. I invite you into my heart and ask you to make my faith strong and that of you, Apostle, on Good Friday. Amen. The 14th Station. Jesus' body is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is Nicodemus, the Good Pharisee. I am Nicodemus. I helped my friend Joseph put the body of Jesus in a brand new tomb in a nearby garden. 
Joseph was braver than I was. He had the courage to ask the Romans for the body. I was always afraid of something. I became a follower of Jesus, but in secret. I came to him only at night so that no one would know I was on his side. After the crucifixion, I was no longer afraid. I was angry and ashamed of myself for not stepping forward earlier to defend Jesus. I helped lay Jesus' body in the tomb. At the time, I did not know it would be there for such a short time. Jesus, I believe that you stayed in the tomb only until the following Sunday. Then you rose from the dead. Thank you for dying for me and for coming back to life. You give me a reason to be happy when things do not go as well for me and my family. Amen. Amen.